Hi, I'm Duncan, Chief Winemaker at Giessen Wines, and today I really want to show you a new wine that we have, the Giessen Uncharted Chardonnay 2020. This is a really exciting new wine of ours, and we're very, very proud to bring it to you today. The Giessen brothers, Alex, Marcel and Theo, have a long affiliation with Marlborough, and we've decided to really celebrate that with wines that really express the region, and in particular the sub-regions and the soils that Marlborough has. A lot of the classic Marlborough Sauvignon Blancs are associated with those riverbed free-draining soils that make delicious wines. Chardonnay, though, tends to grow best on heavier soils, and we really want to showcase that those soils exist in Marlborough, and they create a really delicious style of Chardonnay. Wine making wise, we've tried to keep this really simple. After all, the wine is all about showcasing the region and the sub-region and especially the grape variety that is Chardonnay. So we haven't used too much oak or too much wine making influence. We want to allow the sub-regionality to shine through in this wine and the cool climate nature, the acidity and the freshness of flavour to show through. So it's only a small amount of new oak, it's barrel fermented and we ferment this both in 300 litre French oak hogsheads and also 1000 litre German oak barrels. Those are slightly larger barrels than you'd normally use for a Chardonnay and what that means is that the oak is quite subtle and it allows the true flavours and the regionality of the wine to shine through. It also gives it a really lovely texture when it stays on the lees and the barrel for a length of time. So it's fermented in barrel and then very simply we blend some of those key components together of little sub-regions within the Marlborough Valley, particularly in the, the Wairau and the Southern Valleys, especially sites with those heavier soils. To me, what those heavier soils bring to the wine is a depth of flavour and a flintiness that is really delicious. And we're looking for that really lovely cool climate citrus characteristic and tight acidity that just keeps it fresh and really delicious on the palate. So we should probably have a taste. So the wine has that really lovely Chardonnay colour. It's not a dark wine, like I said, the oak is not too heavy in this wine, so it has a lovely sort of light lemon colour, which is quite, quite pretty. The nose is really exciting on this wine. It's, it's not a, a big Chardonnay. It's not a Chardonnay that has lots of new oak. It's a Chardonnay that really shows where it comes from and shows that lovely cool climate characteristic. It's got beautiful citrus characteristics on the nose and a little bit of hazelnut flintiness, which is coming from that heavier soil. On the palate, this wine really personifies why Marlborough is becoming a, a more famous region for the variety of Chardonnay. It has absolutely delicious acidity, which is so vibrant, it just makes the palate really salivate and makes you want to go back for another sip. And there's lovely citrus flavours of lemon, a little bit of grapefruit on the finish come through, and a slight chalkiness that talks to that sort of heavier soil that we source the fruit from. Really, really lovely. And the oak is balanced. It just frames those flavours and allows the wine to carry through nicely on the palate. This wine is fantastic on its own. I think on a, on a cold evening in front of the fire, this is a wine that you don't need any food with. A personal favourite of mine though is clams, and in particular, we're very lucky in Marlborough, we've got some local clams called Cloudy Bay Clams. They pair fantastically with the Chardonnay, especially if they're cooked with a little bit of bacon and some fresh Italian herbs or something like that. Those smoky characters really complement the slight smokiness of the oak. Delicious wine and a really great example of why Marlborough is now becoming one of the great Chardonnay regions of the world. And I do hope you enjoy it.